Today we're going to be looking at the Mary Blair tea set. This was released in Shop Disney this year to commemorate the 70th anniversary of Alice in Wonderland. So what you'll notice from this tea set is that it doesn't look like the typical Alice in Wonderland designs that we know from the film and that's because it uses the artwork of Mary Blair who was a concept artist for Disney and she did a lot of the concept artwork for Alice in Wonderland and that's the design that you will see on these pieces. So firstly I've got the table runner. I don't actually have a table at the moment so unfortunately I can't show you this in all its glory but I can hold it up for you. Um, it's very long so I'm hoping to get a long rectangular table which will be perfect for this um, but as I say I don't have it yet so I've kind of done things backwards and bought all the tea set before I even have a table but here we go um, so you can see Alice here upside down <laughs> it kind of the print works um, from either side so depending what side of the table you're sat at you'll be able to see some things the right way up and if I just move it up here oops, uh, you'll see it's mainly blue and then with lots of colourful flowers there's the white rabbit and the rocking horse fly and some of the wild flowers so I'll just stand back and <laughs> You sort of get the idea from that. And then on the other side, it's actually reversible, which I didn't realise when I bought it. Um, so if you can see, it's a pale blue with like a blue embroidered floral pattern. So uh, quite a contrast to the front side. So a bit more subtle and just nice to be able to change it up a bit and depending on what, what table where you have you could choose either side and I think the tea set um, yeah it's kind of this duck egg blue so you could have either side showing uh, when you use the tea set although my favorite is the colorful side next I have the teapot and this is the duck egg blue with Alice in Wonderland print. You can see the white rabbit there and Alice on this side looking rather pleased with herself. And then this has a dark blue lid with a golden handle. Okay, next I have the cake stand. <laughs> you see the, the shape of the plates is kind of like a wibbly wobbly um, uneven shape uh, which is partly why I wanted to get the whole set because I think just having one piece on its own would look a bit odd but the whole set together um, just works well next I've got the three bowl set so this comes wrapped in a little ribbon. I'll just take this off and show you each bowl. So we've got a teeny tiny bowl in the middle, which has dark blue and Alice inside with the flowers around the top. And then the outside of the bowl, you'll see the um, the floral like embossed pattern and gold around the top. The next one is dark blue with the embossed flowers on the edge. So on the inside you've got more of the flowers and Alice there as well. And this is the large bowl. So you've got a big daffodil in the middle and the flowers around the outside 
and you can also see Alice there and I think I just saw the white rabbit somewhere on the other side so you'll also notice with these bowls um, they also have that same uneven finish on the top where you get a bit of a wobbly line similar to the plates so it just all has that nice um, whimsical feel okay so the plates um, they again come wrapped with the ribbon on the top and the anniversary tag and let's just open this so this is the first plate probably my favorite because it's got Alice on and it's got the same uneven shape as the cake stand and also has the gold edging the next one it's another Alice but slightly different got Alice in the flowers this one's got one of the flowers on um, it's the the bossy one that's a bit like a teacher I don't know if she actually has a name um, but I recognize her and then a weird looking frog and the last one has a rose and the rocking horse fly and a few little are they violets down there I think they're the shy little violets this is the box for the teacups and saucers so it's blue on the top and then it's got the print on the sides and let's open it up so inside everything is well packaged and I'll take each of these out to show you the different patterns on them so these cups I find very like delicate and dainty like I can't imagine giving one to my dad to drink out of so um, yeah they're quite cute and reminds me almost of like a child's tea set because they're so small but um, I think they're cute so this is one of the cups and they're quite a an unusual design because the handles are almost they look like they're upside down which I guess uh, ties into that whole higgledy piggledy like Alice in Wonderland vibe and then the tops are uneven again like the plates so um, it's just all a little bit um, whimsical and fun <coughs> so the next one has got Alice hiding in a, a flower this one's got the roses and Alice with the flamingo golf club and the white rabbit maybe this one's my favorite actually so here's the last one which has got an assortment of flowers and little violets and the saucers again are very delicate and dainty and you've got different pictures on each one which way up is that there that's the next one here's the white rabbit and the daffodils so I think each of these actually coordinates with a cup yeah so I didn't notice before but I think each one does actually coordinate with its own cup so like this one which is the white rabbit goes with the cup that's got the white rabbit although I don't think it's that important because they all they all go together next I've got the set of teaspoons these are I think metal spoons but with a painted design on them so you've got um, 
Alice, the rocking horse, and then flowers. Okay, this one, I think this is my favourite item, and it's the cookie jar. And this, compared to everything else, it seems quite big. But I suppose it has to be big enough for you to get your hand in. Um, it's got a gold lid. And as you can see, room for lots of cookies inside. And the pattern on the outside, we've got a mix of the flowers and Alice. And I'm looking forward to having this displayed in my kitchen with a good supply of cookies. This is the salt and pepper shaker set. And again, it comes boxed in the dark blue box with the wildflower pattern on the side. I wasn't sure about getting this because I didn't know that I would need salt and pepper with my tea, but um, thought might as well, I'm getting everything else. So here we've got one in dark blue and one in the light blue. So this one's got Alice and the flamingo and the flowers. And the other one is the white rabbit. And these both have the gold trim. So these are both flat on the back. So you can put them next to each other to create a lovely display on your table. Okay, I think, I think we're down to the last thing, which is the cream and sugar set. There were a few other pieces in this collection, um, not necessarily for the tea set, but things with this same design. I think there was like a cushion and a tea towel I didn't get. And what else was there? Maybe a throw. So I just got the main sort of things that you would have on the table. So this is the little uh, creamer jug that you would put your milk or cream in. And again, it's very tiny and dainty and it has the handle like the teacups. So like the upside down topsy-turvy handle. And that is dark blue on the inside. And the sugar pot has a blue lid with the gold handle, the same as the teapot did. And then this is the design. So that's the Mary Blair tea set. And I can't wait to get my table so I can use it. Although actually, I don't like tea, so um, I might might train myself to like tea. Um, I've never really liked it, but I did want the tea set. Let me know in the comments which item you liked best, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.